Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tide here, and I am on vacation right now, probably swimming with sea turtles or something, but this video is going to be kind of a fun video, I hope, that's the goal, maybe we'll do this like once a month kind of thing, but I asked a bunch of you for your help on this video, and all you had to do was go to the community section of my tab or see, you know, on your subscription feed, and I had just asked for like Halo hot takes or whatever it was, and basically, I'm going to do a random number generator. There are 21 comments. We're going to go look through them, and I'm going to react to them, give a short, quick... I'm going to try to do at least... I'm going to do at least three, and we'll see how long the video goes, see how long I, I ramble. But if you all enjoy Halo content, I am on the, the grind, the 25K. We hit 10K, and now we're going to 25K, and I know a ton of you don't watch my... Wait, no. I know a lot of you watch my videos, but you don't sub, so let's fix that. So here we go. Random number generator, 21 minimum generate we got comment number 11 let's scroll back up that's the thing and 11 vaughn get rid of ranked what the get rid of skill based matchmaking okay forget what the pros say and focus on fun who cares if one weapon is overpowering others just use that weapon think of halo 3 the rocket launcher is op and one player with it could turn the match around completely i guess what i'm trying to say is focus on fun not with the narcissistic weirdos that want to be better than everyone else say they want if they keep pandering to them it'll just be another overwatch or league of legends except unplayable uh, i don't really get a lot of that you say they cater to pros and stuff and really they don't because the pros have been asking for changes uh since the game came out so um and they don't really get those so i i think that the problem is is that they rely too much on the hcs to generate views and stuff like that and then people see the huge bump in viewership and stuff and i feel like people get mad um on i guess just like both sides of it get rid of skill based matchmaking i don't think skill based matchmaking should be implemented in social playlists like at all um i think that having ranked is a good thing i don't i don't agree with that at all um especially if there is no skill based matchmaking um because then i mean it's like two ranked modes at once so uh, i agree with skill based matchmaking i don't agree with ranked um i don't really ag agree with the pros part of it i don't think that you should cater the game to pros i think that the fun factor is absolutely what you should be focusing on first but um i just think that they should have two different environments for you know, like, gameplay rule sets or whatever you want to call it, and, um, you know, they can make whatever they want rank to be, and then uh, you have your fun social playlist, so also League of Legends is huge. All right, random number generator time, 20! Halo 3 is bland. Yeah, I said it. No, I'm not going to elaborate on that, and if you disagree, your opinion is objectively wrong. Halo 1, 2, ODST, and Reach have so much more character Halo 3 is just Halo 3. Halo 3 is extremely very cool, but it's just Halo 3. I what? Halo 3 is extremely very cool, but Halo 3 is bland. So I'm not I'm not quite following that line of thought. Um I will say that I love ODST. I love CE. Um I like or uh, I like Halo 2 reach you know obviously i don't know it's it's really hard to compare these games to one another especially something like reach and odst um i think halo 3 was just a cultural phenomenon and um i know it's probably like lightning in a bottle i i often think you know if halo 3 came out today or you know like if halo 3 anniversary came out or whatever would it still have the same effect on people i honestly don't know i i think it's too hard to tell yeah it's a great game i love it but it's, just, it's hard to tell. Next one is 12. So let's scroll all the way back up. 10, 11, 12. There's so many things wrong with Infinite. Oh, this is long. That it's difficult to know where to start. Shake up more of management and hire more talent. Well, I think they did that. Take feedback from the core community and develop a vision of gameplay. Game plan based off of that. Don't hype for cheap and be honest. Campaign side, split screen co-op needs to make return. Ugh. Add replayability via mission select. That's coming, apparently. Dynamic world events, I agree, would be super cool. DLC in mine. Multiplayer side. Add a progression system. Yeah, they're working on it. Service record, I think they're... I mean, service record's actually on the app, so... Uh, with a pre-game and post-game lobby system. Yep. Add more party-up features. Yeah, also give us firefighting fiction. Because, yeah, I, assassinations, forge, make it work properly. Be honest. Also, fix theater mode. 
Uh, bring back playable elites. Hey, this is my hot take. I think that's stupid. I hate playable elites. Uh, Two-tone color system, probably never, and a properly modded. Yep, female armors need to be in the game. Sell palette and texture packs instead of trying to get people to cough up $5 for blue. I, uh, I can agree with that, too. That's actually, like, a, kind of a progressive thought on that. Um, a lot of the things you kind of name they're working on or have addressed or they've talked about, um, there are... You know, a multitude of issues with the game and probably mistakes that they really do need to focus on fixing. Because if they don't, they're just gonna... If, if Infinite doesn't have an MCC kind of resurgence, then I don't know. It, it's gonna be hard to win back people's goodwill. 13! More references and fix the guy... Uh, um, I'd just like to see a few new game modes. Well, hopefully we get more game modes and with Forge and stuff coming out. Um, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, Burning. All right, we're just going to keep pressing it, pressing it, pressing it, pressing it. This is the last one. Hey, we already did 11. Six. Scroll up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make Forge working like a well-oiled machine and give the community infinite. Then take your time to create the new Halo that is worthy of the franchise. I think that that's really what they're doing. Forge is looking nuts. The people who are still making, like, I guess, pre-release Forge content is insane. I just saw some dude make climbable walls, and Master Chief is, like, ru like not running, but he's, like, climbing up the dang walls and stuff without the grapple. It's pretty sick. But I agree. Forge is, like... To me, really, the last big hope until we get whatever the certain affinity game mode is. So who knows what we're going to you know, see in the future from that. But I feel like people are really going to go to town with Forge. And it looks to be working pretty well. It doesn't look like it has a lot of issues. I just hope the custom game browser comes out in a timely manner because we're going to need it. All right, everybody. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you if you like this this special type of thing if you want to see more of these type of videos go ahead and leave a like on the video make sure you're sub if you're new to the channel and i hope you guys have a great day week month year peace